Good evening. Assalamu alaikum, guys, and welcome back to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here on the Sea Results Academy. So we are on number 38 in section 3, and it reads, the average mass of the four solids A, B, C, and D shown below is 1.5 kilograms. The average mass of solids A and B is 1.6 kilograms. The mass of solid C is three times the mass of solid D. What is the mass of solid C and solid D in terms of grams? Okay, so this question can seem a little bit intimidating, but actually it's quite easy. All right, so let me explain why. So if we know the average mass of the four solids A, B, C, and D is 1.5 kilograms, it means that the combined masses of the four solids divided by the number of solid, which is four, is equal to 1.5. So if I want to get the combined mass of all four solids, I'm going to have to multiply 1.5, which is the mean, by 4 to get the combined weight of all four solids. And 1.5 multiplied by 4 is going to give me 6.0 kilograms. Okay. And then further we are told that the average mass of solids A and B. So if we took the average of the solids A and B alone, it would be 1.6. That means the combined mass of A and B divided by 2 is equal to 1.6. So if I multiply 1.6 by 2, I'm going to get back the combined mass of solids A and B, which is 3.2 kilograms. So the combined mass of all four solids is 6.0 kilograms, whereas the combined mass of solids A and B is 3.2 kilograms. And we want to know what the mass of solid C and solid D is in terms of grams. All right, so what we're going to do now is figure out what solid C and D weigh together. And that's easy. All we have to do is take 6.0 and subtract 3.2 from it. And that is going to leave us with 2.8 kilograms. And that would be our combined mass for C and D. Now the question further goes on to state, the mass of solid C is three times the mass of solid D. So if I represent this here with a little block diagram, right, or bar diagram, I'm going to realize that this 2.8 kilograms is can actually be broken up into four equal parts, right? Into four equal parts. And three of those belong to C and one of those belong to D. So how many equal parts do I have together? I have four equal parts. So therefore, if I divide 2.8 kilograms by four, I'm going to get um, the individual size of a uh, share. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and convert 2.8 kilograms into grams, since they want our answer in grams anyway. And that is equal to 2,800 grams. And I have to divide it by 4 to get the size of one of these blocks, right? So if I divide it by 4, that is going to leave me with 700 grams. Okay, so 700 grams is the size of one of these uh, shares or one of these equal parts that this bar model is broken up into. And incidentally, D is only one of these, right? So therefore, the mass of the solid D would be equal to 700 grams. And the mass of C is going to be equal to 3 times 700 which is 2,100 or 2,100 grams. All right, and that's all there is to this question, people. 
Of course, you can write some nice statements and you're working underneath, but I'm here to teach you how the thought process goes, all right? So hopefully that was very helpful to you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We have only two more questions to finish this specimen paper. So do join me again tomorrow and on Saturday, God willing, when we'll wrap up the mathematics specimen paper. Please like this video, share it, subscribe to us on YouTube, and like and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. All right, guys, have a great evening. Assalamu alaikum. Take care.